Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the VFX Showdown. And I know it's been a while I'm uploading a tutorial for you, but I'm here again, another After Effects tutorial. And this time, I'm gonna make a eye rays. It's like a volumetric light rays coming through my eyes. So let me show you what we going to make today. So this is the basic idea of this tutorial. And as you can see right here, this is all set. I just need to add this volumetric light or iris, whatever you want to call. So as you can see, I'm all set up this composition to adding a light rays. And you guys know this is my ray comp as you can see i isolate my eyes so i can add a light rays let's do this the effect we're going to add is called the shine and this is basically the trap coat shine so it's a third party plugin but it's definitely worth the buying because it's very powerful and as you saw on the final example it's pretty easy to add volumetic lights on any objects so let me show you my process how I add so as you can see if I enable this shine effects you can see the lights coming through my eyes pretty cool and by the way I'm in a half res so if you want to see the full resolution okay so enough talk and let's add the volumetic light okay so I'm gonna temporarily disable the effects and I'm going to select the effects trap coat shine and as you can see by default it's doing nothing you can see some red light rays coming through my eyes so but this is not what we want so we need to change some setting to get the proper look so first thing first go to the colorize and change the colorize type to one color and i'm gonna pick up the color of this green of my face and let me light up this green maybe like that as you can see nothing happened because i need to push that light so maybe 15 as you can see and the position is wrong i want this light rays coming downward this is still looking good but this is not what you want it's depend on situation basically so to put this down as you can see we have a source point and if i click here plus icon and let's place this maybe slightly up and now we can move this up and down so as you can see this is pretty cool and also the sideways but i want down so i'm gonna move this a little bit up somewhere here maybe more like that that's the basic idea and as you can see now i am a uh, set up this light rays so let's see if i press u you can see this is my original sh shine layer and as you can see when i open the eye it's getting bright brighter so let me disable and enable my original shine so you can see so this is so as you can see i have a lot of keyframe from for this effect so it basically the boost of the light rays boost so as you can see it's animating from here to here so let's do this for this one also so you can see how i animate that so what i did it's keyframe the ray length and the boost light and let's jump when i open the eye right here and boost that things let's see maybe 20 okay 20 good and ray length let's see the 5 okay i think the 5 is looking good now if i go back and play this all right we're getting there so as you can see we have this kind of animation but the starting looks terrible if you watch my original one doing this kind of thing so as you can see from side to down and then getting brighter when i open my eyes so something like that so let's animate that for this we need to animate this source point so let's see when i look down my source point should be right here maybe somewhere here and let's keyframe that and when i move my head 
this thing will go up and more and now i can see the proper effect and now let's animate the opacity of this so for do that let me select and press u so you can see the keyframe so this is my shine 2 and this is my shine 1 so you can see the keyframe but i am gonna quickly show you how i did okay so let's keyframe the ray boost maybe down let's see maybe 7 and as i go as you can see the opacity is increasing increasing and then here is oh, completely brighter i think i need more bright so let see 25 no 25 is too strong thing 22 is good so let me 22 and this is looking pretty good so as you can see pretty good from start to end and you can also add this effect let me show you so this shimmer if you increase you can get a more detail so as you can see sharp volumetric light but we don't want too much so let's increase this 50 and detail also 30 so you get a more detailed rays so as you can see pretty good and you can also add a noise so you can see if i enable you can see a noise pattern so on and off but in this case we don't want so we don't okay so let's fit that and here we have the effects pretty cool huh and if i show you this one this is the final one and if you really want to know how i make my face like that and you can, as you can see my eyes blinking 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 so please let me know in the comment i will make a tutorial from start to beginning how i achieve this kind of face look in our future tutorial so as you can see beep beep and eyes open beep beep eyes open so pretty good huh so as you can see this is not a lot of i just experiment the look and let me show you one horrible thing as you can see we have a mask layer here if i enable and select that and if i show you the mask as you can see wow this is pretty damn terrible so this is basically the mask of my face and i track all the mask inside of mocha from after effect as you can see animation track in mocha ae so we get a perfect track mask and i will use this i will make a tutorial if you want to if you really want to see how i achieve that look and let me show you the let me show you the last one what i just want to show you we have a background particle layer and this is the stardust layer so if you if you guys don't know what is stardust stardust is pretty powerful node based particle system for after effect and it's very very powerful so as you can see we use just a simple sphere here in the background as you can see if i disable you can see nothing just a sphere but it's get the job done so as you can see my eyes if i set this to full res so as you can see this is the look of this effect and we have this correction comp and we have this five semi-final and we have a key comp here so this is me by the way if you guys don't know so this is me opening my eyes come on here and this is the actual footage i just add a mask so as you can see and did the key comb in the key section and correction comb in a correction section all that light rays and in the semi-final comp i just if i show you i just add a time remapping play here you can see i had the time remapping for the slow and fast to get a cinematic kind of look this is the effect I'm just show you so this is just a breakdown or tips whatever you want to call but you have to try this shine shine is so powerful it's really powerful so that's why i make a quick tutorial to show you how you can easily easily add a light rays in your comp without doing anything so if I disable if I enable my original one as you can see if i delete this same thing we have a pretty nice 
eye rays or volumetric light or god rays whatever you want to call but this is the effect and please let me know if you want to see the whole process how i achieve this look of my face please let me know in the comment below i will make a tutorial for you to show you the process and make sure to subscribe to our channel if you're new here as always we will see you in a very next tutorial have a great day